Hi guys, in this video, I'm gonna talk about parsing text in Excel. Uh, why do you need that? Well, sometimes you have an Excel stuff like that. In one cell, I have those three names, the Christian name, the middle name, and the surname. And I wish to isolate each one in a separate cell. Now here, there are several methods, methods how to do this, but I find parsing that text is the simplest way. And I'm gonna show you a way to where you can parse text no matter how long they are, no, many, no matter how many components they got. Now, in this case, that text got three components, but with the method I'm going to show you, you can parse text with, you know, X uh, components. doesn't matter because the process is always the same. Now, let me explain that first in, theoretical, uh, uh, in a theoretical way, how, how I'm planning to approach that problem, and then I'm going to approach that problem in Excel. Now, I got like something like that, Barry Oscar Ring, and I wish to parse that. Well, the easiest way to do it is, first of all, you have to isolate the leftmost component and put that in a separate cell. Let's call it cell one. Okay. And then after isolating that component, you have to, in a separate cell, put what's left over. Okay. That's now cell two. That's what's left of the original name. And then you repeat that process. In cell three, you know, isolate the leftmost component of cell two. That will be cell three, okay? And in cell four, you put in what's left over, and then you can proceed as, 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 as many components as you have. Okay, so that's how I plan to attack it. First, I isolate the leftmost component, and then I put in a, in, a, in a separate cell what's left over, and then of that leftover, I isolate again the leftmost component and so on. Okay, now I'm going to show you to do that in Excel. And basically, first of all, the first step is to find the first separator. Now, in our case here, we, the separators are the empty spaces between the different names. Now, first of all, is where's the location of the first separator? Let me write it down, okay? First separator, where is it located at? And there I need the function find, okay? So I go here, function, uh, function wizard, and all, and wait a minute, I'll just push it up. Yeah, that's better. And find, F, 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 there, I just saw it, find. Now the function find needs three parameters. First of all, the text you wish to find. In this case, I need to find the space. So I just open quotation marks, space, close quotation marks. There's my, now where's the original text? Within text, this is the original text. And now I wish to find the first space. So I don't need to put a number in here. If, should I wish to find, let's say that any spaces beyond character 15, then I would have to put in 15. But in our case, I'm just looking for the first space, so I don't need to put anything there. If you want, you can even put a one, it doesn't make a difference, the result is the same, okay? And okay, so the first separator, i.e. the first space, is located at number six, and meaning Barry is five characters long, and the space is character six, so that's okay, that's, that's correct. Now, where's my first name? The first component, or the first, let me say first part, is what is the leftmost part of that okay basically i need the function left now the function left can be found in text the category text and there we are left now left needs two parameters first the original text okay that's easy enough now how many characters to to the left do you need well i know the space is located at six so if I click there, I get six. And that's partially true. I get Barry, but I also get that space behind Barry. I don't need that space, so I have to gotta take off one. So basically, I need the leftmost part of that original text, but not six characters long, because six would be including that space. So I just take off one, to not to include that space. And I got Barry. So that's my first part. So what's... What's left over? Well, the leftover is basically the right part, the right part minus the right part 
minus Barry. Now, how do I get that? Well, first of all, let me calculate the length of the whole text, of the original text. And there is a function for that, also found under text, and it's called len. All right? And len basically takes just one parameter, basically the text. Now, our text is 16 characters long. So basically, now I can use my next function, which is right. This is quite similar to left. Let's call it up. It's also under text. Right. What right does, in contrast to left, right gives you the rightmost part of a text. And you got to specify it. It requires two parameters. First of all, the, the text you wish, the original text. Now, how many characters do you need? Well, if I have the whole length, that means I get, as you can see here in the preview, I get the whole text. But I don't want the whole text. I just want everything to everything except that section here. Barry and the space. Now, where do I find that space? There, character six. Okay, so basically I got to take, I got to take the whole length minus those six characters because the whole length let me just let me just do it again the whole length is the whole text now minus that means the whole length minus those first six characters and that's how I isolate Barry from the rest and that's what I got I got the first part Barry and that's what's left over okay now I want to have the second uh, part, which is like Oscar. So I just, that's now, that's, that is one cycle, okay? That is just one cycle. Now, I, I, this, I'm just going to say it here, cycle one. Now, I, I start my second cycle. The second cycle is designed to isolate Oscar from the whole thing, okay? So I just go same step. Where's my second separator? Well, my second separator is, again, I use the function find. Uh, find, 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 here we are. Now, what text do I wish to find? Again, a space. Now, within which text? Not that anymore, but this one here. Again, I need to first. Uh, I need to find the first uh, space, so I don't need to put any number here. So again, it's located at six because Oscar, again, is uh, five characters long and the space is like in character six. Okay, so where's my second part now? The second part is like with Barry. I need the function left. Let me go to recently used because I'm just using the same functions as before. Left. Where's my text? This one. How many characters? Well, so many minus one to cater for that space. So and I got my second part, Oscar. Okay, now what's left over? Left over is, let me just uh, give it the same format. Left over is, again, I need first of all the length of that thing. Okay, length. And the length is, just call a function length of that leftover. Okay. So that leftover is 10 characters long, and I need now what's left by, ta by taking off Oscar. So basically, again, we need a function write, of which text, that is that text, right? How many characters? Well, the whole text is 10, but I need to take off Oscar, so minus those six, okay? And there we are. And now, let me do it in red. That's the first part. That's the second part, and that's what's left over. And in our case, that's also the end. So you can see, and regardless, if I had now another name in there, so I would, just have an, I would have a third cycle and isolate that name from the whole thing. But I don't, I just have three parts, so, and I isolated each one in a separate cell, okay? You can try an exercise on your own. Try this one. Let's say I've got an address like this. Uh, Mellow Street 14 in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 
state, big state, and in noise country. Okay. Uh, sorry, wait a minute. I got a uh, um, 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 green city. There you go. That's better. Okay. Now let's say you have an address in one cell which includes the street, street number, postal code, your city, oops, your city, state, and country. How would you isolate each in a separate cell? Could you do that? So let's say if I have like street, I should have Mellow Street, number, I should have the 14, postal code, I should have the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, city, I should have green city state i should have big state and country i should have nice country could you that do that exercise i'll post another video where i solve this exercise